Ah, so Ethereum mining. People are still mining Ethereum and that is not such a bad thing. But after EIP 1559, which has now come and gone, there are some network transaction fees that the miners will have to pay in order to get the Ethereum out from the mining pool to your exchange wallet. Today I'll be explaining how you can work out how much transaction fees you're going to pay in order to get your Ethereum coins out from the mining pool to your exchange wallet and the gas fees associated with those network transaction fees. Stay tuned. So I just wanted to make this quick video to explain for those who don't know that now after EIP 1559, which has now come and gone, additional network transaction fees have now been added. So when you want to transfer your Ethereum from the Ethereum pool, for example, I'm using Ethermine here and you can see this here on my screen. If you want to transfer to the Ethereum mainnet, you would need to pay additional network transaction fees which are gas fees, okay? This is called gas. So imagine this like you have a car and you want to go from point A to point B. Now point A being the mining pool and point B being your exchange wallet. To go from one place to the other, you need to fill your car or in this case, you need to provide the network with the fee in order to be able to transfer from one place to the other. So it's like filling up your car with gas and going from point A to point B. Without gas, you're not going to get there. Okay, so basically what's happening here is I've gone to Ethermine and I've gone to my settings. I can also choose to be paid out with Polygon, Matic on the Polygon network, but I do find that this method is a bit more complicated, although it is good for small miners so that you can get paid out more frequently. However, in the end, there are still fees to pay, but at least you will be getting your funds in your wallet sooner. Now, I am sticking to the Ethernet mainnet. I don't consider myself a large miner. As you've seen maybe in previous videos, my current hash rate is averaging around 460 to 470 mega hash per second with the new mining rig upgrade that I've recently done. So I don't consider myself to be a large scale miner either, but I am still sticking to the main net because it is just simpler to do and the network fees I don't think are that much of a big deal. What I do suggest though is let's say I want to get paid out right now because my minimum threshold has been reached and the minimum threshold if I do an on-demand request right now is of 0 0.005, so I've reached that, okay? Now, if I'm going to get paid out right now, it's saying that the network fee, and this is changing all the time, this is the gas fee, that's going to cost 66 GWE, okay? Which is the currency, if you will, for gas, okay, GWE. Price of gas is 21,000. You can see down here, the network fee is calculating using 21,000 gas. So that is the price of how much each one of these are going to cost. And this is how this is being calculated right here. If you do the 21,000 gas, okay, so let me just put that down there, 21,000, and you times that in this case by 63.16, okay, 63.16, that's going to give you a total number of how much gas GWE you're going to have to pay. In this case, I would have to pay 1.3 million gas. Now, that 1.326 million are all units of gas. That is the price of gas. Okay, so each one of these costs times 0 0.80s, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one Ethereum. So that's going to cost me a total of 0.00132636 Ether in order to be able to conduct that fee. So here at 0.01, that might have changed slightly. As you can see, it, ha it has actually now gone down from 60 to 50. So this network fee is changing all the time, real time, even though I'm on the request manual payout page, this is going to keep on changing depending on the base network fee at the time that you want to do the actual transaction. So that has slightly changed already. So it is a bit less here, but basically that's how you calculate 
that. Now, obviously, to know how much you're paying in fiat currency, all you would need to do is grab that number here, or how I've calculated it here when it was at 60, times how much the current price of Ethereum is, and currently it is at 264375. So if I just do times 2643.75, that's going to cost me 3 euros and 50 cents to carry out that transaction. So that is how you can actually find out how much you're paying. This has actually changed again. It's now 56.87. So it's always updating and changing depending on the network. You can kind of request a manual payment on Ethermine. You can leave this page open. And when you see it going lower than it was, not long ago, I saw this at 80. So just be sure to know what you're actually paying. What I would recommend though, is that the longer you can hold on to the Ethereum coins at the pool, the better. If you're going to do multiple small transactions, you're still going to pay this network base fee. You're still going to pay that amount because the calculation is done with the 21,000 gas because 21,000 gas is the cost to carry out a transaction on the Ethereum mainnet. So that 21,000 gas is always going to be a fixed number. And then that's always going to be multiplied by how much the network fee in GUE is. And that will give you the number, which in my case was around 1.3 million times the 0 0.0000001 ETH to get the ETH value. And that's how they're calculating that. Okay, so that was the overview of how they got to this number. As you can see, it's always changing. And then you can convert this depending on the current Ethereum price to know how much you're paying in fiat currency. So I would try to hold on to as much Ethereum as I can, because if you're going to pay this transaction fee, regardless if you have one Ether or 0 0.06 of an Ether, then I would prefer paying one fee on a larger amount of money rather than withdrawing my funds and say getting 0 0.01 every two days and still paying this amount in fees because you're still going to pay that three euro and 50 cents in this case at this point in time that I just calculated right now for any amount of Ethereum that you're going to transfer. So if you're going to transfer one Ethereum, I'm going to pay three euros and 50 cents at this point in time. If I'm going to transfer 0 0.06 Ethereum, then I'm still going to pay that three euros and 50 cents. So important that you understand this and that you know that holding on to the coins for longer in your pool wallet, which is still a risk obviously, but it will net you lower transaction fees in the long run, rather than having to have the same amount of fees or higher for every single transaction that you're going to do. So just one transaction fee for a larger amount. The maximum that you can leave is up to 10, if I'm not mistaken. So if you go to the limit here, the maximum is 10 ether. So you can actually wait until you get to 10 ether, which depends obviously on your mining rig and how fast you're going to get there. I haven't even reached 0 0.1 in a week yet with half a giga hash. So it depends how fast you want your payouts as well. Now, if you don't mind paying the transaction fee, go ahead. If you need to pay off your electricity bills, for example, and you need the money to come in sooner, then obviously you would do this, but just bear in mind and be mindful that you are paying transaction fees for each and every transaction that you're doing, regardless if it's going to be one ether or if it's going to be 0.1 ether. So that transaction fee at this point in time, while I'm speaking in this video, if I'm going to ask to do a transaction, it's going to be at the moment 0.001362 ether, which is equivalent to around three euros, three euros and 50 cents to be able to transact that. It's actually gone up to 80 now. So while I've been doing this video, it's already changed like four or five times already. It's gone like from 56 to 81 and back down. So just be mindful when you are actually transacting and understand exactly how much you are paying to be able to get your funds out of your pool and into your exchange wallet. I do hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please do hit that subscribe button down below, smash that like and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. Until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.